follicle itself, the biological mechanism of the hair follicle, this, this organ, requires glucose to metabolically function and actually grow hair. This is real. Hair follicles are already inefficient organs. However, in the absence of readily available glucose, they become extremely poor. Hair follicles require oxygen and fuel from either glucose, fructose, or pyruvate for hair to grow. In the absence of these fuels, fatty acids or ketone bodies were found to not be able to sustain hair growth. I was actually completely blown away when I searched on YouTube for the subject of keto and hair loss and I found the following video. Apparently so many people had written in wanting help on this subject of losing their hair on the keto diet that it prompted the creation of this video. His recommendation, by the way, was to eat more calories from the keto diet nonetheless and eat more protein. Hmm. There's no mention here of cortisol from the stress of the keto diet. There's no mention of increased estrogen production from the excess free fatty acids in the bloodstream. There's no mention of high prolactin and there's no mention of thyroid and poor thyroid function. Anyway, I scrolled through the comments and I actually, this got worse. I couldn't even believe what I was reading. Comments like these littered this comment section on this video. Now, for example, thanks for addressing. I lost half of my hair three months after adding IF and keto. Are you kidding me? That's insane. If I lost half my hair, I'll be so freaking pissed. Here's one. My hair is falling out from two years of keto until I started adding fulvic mineral supplementation in the morning. And actually, fulvic minerals, um, something we recommend on anabolic men for uh, help with testosterone. Yep, lost lots of hair. I don't know if it'll regrow. Uh, that sucks. Sir, I've been doing keto plus IF since five months now. I've lost around 100 pounds, which is good. But recently, my hair is falling out. So he's losing that. He lost 100 pounds on the stress metabolism. That's freaking nuts. At least someone on this comment section called it like it is. But I definitely wanted to show this to you in case you're currently on the keto diet. This is real stuff. You'll probably want to reconsider that based on how it lowers your thyroid function while simultaneously starving your hair follicles of the actual very fuel that they need to grow hair.